Fishing tiny little creeks is always a challenge. The stream might be overgrown, making casting nearly impossible, or the water might be low and clear, where fish scatter with every movement. With these challenges comes potential reward and satisfaction. I look forward to the tangled lines, flies stuck in trees, spooked fish, and everything that a good small stream will throw at me. Let's get stealthy and let's get in there. There's a fish feeding right behind this cottonwood tree here. I just see his tail. He's holding in place. I've seen some ripples, so I think he could be feeding. I've got uh, just a single fly on a size 16 Griffith snat. Um, just kind of a general midge uh, dry fly. So I'm gonna see if I can get a cast in here. It's a really tight spot. And uh, see if he's interested. Yes, that was so cool. There we go, heck yes. Oh wow. <laughs> Casted that fly, perfect bow and arrow cast right behind the tree. I couldn't actually see the fly, but the, le the line was laying on the water and uh, I saw it uh, move and uh, set the hook and there he was. So cool. Name of the game today is going to be uh, not spooking fish. <laughs> That's going to be by far the hardest thing about today. If I can take my time, get up to these pools slowly and stealthy, I think we're going to we're going to catch some hungry fish. They're definitely interested in the fly today. Well, hey, one fish out of this pool that is not bad at all. I think that's going to be a uh, a ratio to strive for. <laughs> Besides, once you catch one, I feel like they're all gonna kind of spook off pretty easily. Super skinny water here. My favorite kind of fishing though, up against this beautiful cliff here. Nice warm day, just lovely. All right, let's, uh, let's keep moving up the river. Heck yes. Oh, come here, Brownie. <laughs> oh, so cool. He just came out slowly from under that rock. Beautiful fish. Look at those colors. So I'm using this super weird little streamer pattern, if you can call it that. It's essentially a size 12 hook with a uh, ring neck pheasant. And I uh, just basically hackled it around uh, the hook and it is unweighted. So it's just like a super subtle, very small little streamer that sinks slowly, will not scare any fish and uh, represents a tiny bait fish. I really love fishing with uh, small, streamers. I think big fish are totally down to bite small streamers and uh, you're gonna move way more fish overall.
just missed a hit there. <sighs> the strikes are so few and far between on this creek. Spooking way more fish than I'm getting to present to. I am just blind casting right now. I did not see that fish. But I saw that line jump. There's a fish right on the other side of this boulder. I'm gonna make a far cast. I'm gonna drift into his field of view. I can't, I'm not gonna be able to see him hit, but I will definitely see the line move if he strikes. Come on. There we go. Ooh. Oh, no. Ah. Oh man, this has been a hard day. Very hard day. Chances of fish are few and far between. It's a game of stealth and uh, I am losing. <laughs> First one I actually hooked and lost today, but uh, uh, I guess I guess at least we hooked, hooked into him, you know, that's better than uh, spooking him immediately. But uh, that definitely stings. Uh, we'll keep uh, we'll keep trudging along. Darn it! Here we are at the last hole of the day. Luckily it happens to be one of my favorites and there are fish rising in here. I'd love to end the day on one more fish. There we go. Okay, all tangled up in the slots. Come on. We are probably gonna lose this fish. I'm using 7x tippet here. Come on, buddy. <laughs> I can't believe we landed that rainbow. Yes. <laughs> he was deep under that log. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Look at the colors on that absolutely stunning rainbow. Just awesome. <laughs> there he goes. Yes. It certainly wasn't easy but with a bit of perseverance and a lot of patience, I managed to catch some fish, make some memories, and sharpen my skills. On a tiny stream like this, that's a win. 
If you'd like to watch me fish this same stream during runoff conditions last summer, click the video above. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.